What's going on? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is Robbie. Yo, this is loud about nothing. <laughs> there we go. First intro. Pop, pop in the bed, bro. Fire. <laughs> That's fire right there. That's fire. Who says I ain't a pro? That was fire, Robbie. <laughs> I don't even think people can understand what you just said. What do you mean? Yeah, that is Why? All right. Do you think I should redo it or we got? No, rock it's it? good. Rock it. <laughs> it's funny. You're just laughing. Uh, yeah. All right. This is a lot about nothing. How you doing? I'm Sebastian Canelli. I got my boy Robbie. Rob, Robbie, say what's up. What's up, everybody? Yeah, that's him. That's him. He does. He looks shit up for me. He hangs out. I make sure that he's here. He he makes me feel good. You know, after the episodes, I go, Robbie, what's that funny? And he goes, yeah, dude, you were funny. <laughs> Funniest guy on the planet. He goes, yeah, Sebastian, you were, you did a good job on that time. He goes, I like this time. And I go, ooh, Robbie, tell me more. <laughs> that's how I have to talk to him because that's how he takes. Yes, make- Sebastian. You did good job today, Sebastian. Yeah, I make him talk like a fucking oh, <laughs> like, like, like he's in the fucking crudes, bro. Like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. We got to do this, okay? Everyone calm down at home. We got to stop fucking around, okay? This is it. This is the bad stuff. This is what we've all been waiting for. The big bad ass himself dropping a new pod. <laughs> what we've all Everyone, been- we've been sitting around in quarantine. A lot going on. For everybody, and everyone's just been sitting around like, when is the big badass himself dropping a new pod? And this is it. The time has come. The time has come. Finally, everyone yeah. calm down. I know everyone's fucking freaking You've out. You've been getting blown up and on Instagram, Twitter, yeah, cell phone. I, when is a new pod coming? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not following the news, but I hear a lot of people on the streets fucking <laughs> No, bro. I hear there's all these people on the streets being like, when's the big band coming out? What the I think uh, you should follow the news because you might be misinformed about the demands of the people on the streets. Nah, bro. That's what I heard. I Maybe on Staten Island, that's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> the people on Staten Island are like, what is the big bad? Who is the big bad on Staten Island? I don't think that's you. No, I'm not the big bad. It's, dude, I, I'm I'm literally a little simp over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Staten, <laughs> Staten Island simp. When is the Staten Island simp <laughs> dropping a pot? That's what the people want to know. Uh, So what is this? What are we doing here, right? I like to talk. I like to have fun. So I got to do a pot, you know? And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. In, uh, this is a shitty sitch. You know, everyone's, this sucks. I know the world sucks. Everything is shitty. But I, like, need to have a little fun, you know? And I need yeah. to have fun besides just, like, being alone or being with somebody else having fun. I need to fucking let some shit out, right? Yeah. In my daily life, I would walk around, Robbie, in my daily life, normally, I'd see 50 people a day. And i tell the same story 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> I, there, there would be like one or two things every day that would get me heated or get me excited that was so not important. But I got to see people and I got to let all this off my chest. And now I got you to, can't. And now I can't. So now I have all this stuff that I just have to fucking shit out and not tell any. My mother doesn't care. And if she does, she asks too many follow-up questions. And I have to be like, mom, this is supposed to be It's fun. a carefully curated story that has yes. beats and perfect, yeah. You don't need I, any follow-up questions. I don't need any fo- – there's no follow-up so questions. So you're, you're back living with mom. Uh, <laughs> Robbie, why do you got to do that to me, bro? <laughs> I just uh, – maybe people want an update. Yeah, they, you want an update on my life? Okay, here we go. I lost everything. <laughs> Stop. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. I got nothing no more. I'm here. I'm in my mommy's basement. It looks dope. 31 years. Yeah. Well, you know what? I go. Your mom's got some sick shoes. My mom's got fucking style, bro. <laughs> yeah. My mom is my mom is dirty as fuck, bro. You know? Good dirty. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Good She's dirty. a clean roommate, dirty as fuck person. She's into all the same shit I am. This is decorated. I go, Mom, can I have can I have the cool room? And she goes, I don't know. I need it on the weekends to zoom with my friends. <laughs> so wait, so so I'm home. I'm with mommy. I'm with my mom and dad. I hate the fucking word mommy. 
I hate it so much. Ugh. I hate that I said that. I had a, I used to know my, I had a buddy who would go like this. He would go, he was, he, he fucking loved pills, this dude. <laughs> <laughs> And if you brought All right, preface, good preface. Good preface, good preface. And he loved them. He, he like, he loved them. A favorite thing in the world. And so, <laughs> and he would get all heated on the phone and he'd be like, he'd go, mommy, daddy, what the fuck, mommy? <laughs> and I'm like. While he was high? While, and he'd be like, oh, bro, yo. And this was the same dude that, <laughs> he was wild, this guy. What, do you but, make it sound tough or it, he couldn't? Can no, you make could, mommy sound tough? Let me try. Hold on. Is anyone on set now? <laughs> Yo, mommy. <laughs> no, I don't think you could do it. Yo, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't like the word mommy and daddy, right? So I'm basically. I'm, I'm not. I never use those. I've, I've never used mommy, daddy. No, neither did I. I came out the womb saying ma. You know? Ma. Yeah, ma. Ma. Came, yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, I'm back here with my mom and dad until shit opens up again. I fucking. My apartment, I left my apartment for a bit, and uh, rats decide to take over. Rat, we leave for a minute, and rats are like, yo, we'll come in. <laughs> yeah. There was I'm, a point, I stayed in the city the whole time, and there was a point where the rats were like, oh, yeah, we're, we're, this is us now. So you would go down streets, and you would just see, like, 50 to 100 rats. Like, dude. there's, I think it's, like, 4 to 1 or 8 to 1. That's a pretty big difference, but rats to humans in new york city and you could definitely feel it at a point when nobody was here it's wild so i left my apartment for a couple of months i went away with my friends beginning of core fucking figure into that shit out i go back to brooklyn it's rats rats cockroaches all up in my place <laughs> my landlords don't give a fuck we have to resign the lease i go what's the deal with the lease they try to raise the rent on us. Raise the rent? <laughs> they I've raise never heard anybody had to raise it. Bro, they tried to raise the rent on our apartment filled with rats during the middle of a, a pandemic. <laughs> Are the rats going to chip in? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah. I go, well, we got a couple extra roommates. Is that one, yeah, bro? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bro, it was so, so, and my everyone's like, no, let's not, my friends are like, let's not do this. Let's just fucking lock it down. And then when this is over, we'll go jump back into it. You know? Cause it's not like, as soon as shit's, no, I'm it's not, not worth it. No, it's not worth it for me. What am I going to do? You know? So as soon as this shit's over, I'll fucking jump back into, um, not being with my mother and father. But um, you can't wait to get shit off your chest. Then you need to do that now. Thank you, Robbie. Keeping me focused. Right? Yeah. Keeping you focused. <laughs> So you got 30, you tell the same story 30 times a day and now you got nobody. So you're going to do it. So now I got nobody. And so I realized that most of the shit I talk about, most of what I'm, uh, when I talk to people, it's garbage. I'm literally saying, I'm saying nothing important. You're the garbage man. The stat out of the garbage man. I'm the fucking garbage man. You know, my uncle was a garbage man. So don't fucking hate, bro. No, I don't. Don't you hate on a garbage man. There is less of a job that i don't think people should pay more money to like i can't think of a job that people should get more there's so much fucking garbage in new york city i would always advocate whoever runs for mayor if they are like we need to double the salary or double the event like garbage people need to be taken care of because Mm -hmm. without them this city crumbles there's so much fucking garbage i live in five robbie's constantly texting me and he's like yo defund the police and give that shit to garbage garbage, yeah that's what i'm about you know what's fucking crazy down with that you know what's crazy, bro? Every other, it's like police officer, firefighter, they non-gender, a postal, postal worker, but garbage. They go, the women go, man, you could have that shit. We don't. Need to. <laughs> yeah. They go, the they go, garbage man. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody. It's not sanitation worker, I guess. Oh fuck you! Don't, don't fucking bust my bubble, bro. <laughs> don't bust. I work in sanitation. Yeah. But yeah, sanitation implies, I think, uh, yeah, masculine energy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But my uncle was a garbage man, and my mom would say to me, I would, like, do my homework. I would, like, not want to do my homework. And my mom would go to me, and she'd go, Sebastian, if you don't do your homework, she goes, you're going to end up being a garbage man. <laughs> I, go, I go, Uncle Rocky's a garbage man. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's a, he, he was fun. He was a good dude. You were like, I would awesome. want to be like him. Yo, he was the best. He was awesome. Yeah. He was a, yeah, he was a good dude. He, so, he, in some ways, you ended up being a garbage man. Don't say that. <laughs> you deliver garbage all day. 30 people a day, you're giving them garbage. That's <laughs> what you, you just told me. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I, I'm, I, I am. I'm, I'm, no, I, you know, I'm a garbage maker. I'm a garbage maker. Okay. 
I make waste, bro. And this we is make what the, waste. This and is what this shit's gonna be it. about. Yeah. Yeah. I can't keep all the garbage inside of me, right? Yeah. So I gotta let it out. And I'm I, healthy. I, I get I, there's too much passion in me about stuff that don't matter, right? Yeah. So, so that's the whole point of this shit, right? I got. I'm gonna be fucking amped because that's what I have to be. I'm gonna be passionate. And it's all going to be about shit in my life or other people's life. We're going to bring guests on. They're going to talk about shit that, that they're passionate about that doesn't matter at all. Right? We're talking, about, we're talking about stuff that we have, we care a lot about that's not important. Right? Nice. Yeah. So what is, what's something? Could you have an example? Yeah, of course I got an example. You know what I'm drinking right now, bro? Fucking Dunkin' Boy right here. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. It's like... I have a weird relationship with Duncan in that I acknowledge that it's very weak coffee and essentially just dirty water, but I continue to purchase from it and I'm very, I have a strong allegiance to it. Bro, I have such a strong allegiance to Duncan. You know, I do Starbucks when I'm feeling like fancy or when I was in Brooklyn, I had a spot, you know, that was good. But Duncan is me through and through, you know, yeah. I get the fuck it. I get a cold brew there, you know? And okay. That's so that's kind of fancy. That's probably the fanciest thing they have. I get the fanciest thing. I go to, I go to fucking Applebee's and I go, you got filet mignon? <laughs> That's what's fucking happening over here, bro. <laughs> and I go, Duncan. And so this is, I'm very particular about my Duncan shit. I'll go, well, they, Duncan is so, like, Europe is classy, right? Europe sure. is a classy place. Let's yeah, just say, yeah. Let's just yeah. say, like, like, if we go on vacation, you go, you go into Europe, everyone goes, ooh, ooh good yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll tell you this, Europe, uses no ice i don't know if you've been robbie but europe they don't like ice there they, okay. they don't they don't like ice there. i was in i was in uh berlin and i was uh and every night i would i would go me and my boy would want to have a nightcap in the hotel room and we i go can i get two glasses of ice so we could fill up like we would buy like gin and tonics or stuff from the um you could buy like mixed drinks the from cocktails the are you sh everywhere in europe you went they didn't have ice in the cocktails or the cold brews or Robbie, I'm in the middle of a story. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like confused that there's no, no ice in Europe. They would have I, I don't one, know if I had this experience. They have one cube. They put one cube. Oh, okay, one cube. Okay. They do one cube, right? Okay. Okay. They do one cube. So I go every night I go, hey, can I get uh can I get two glasses? Fill them up, fill them up with ice. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you know, nothing like a drunk fat American being like, yo, I need two glasses as much ice. And anyway, bring the glass. I go, I go, can you do a little more ice? And, he goes, <laughs> and the guy will go, more <laughs> he was fucking blown away and then at, at, towards the end of the day we stayed there for like a, almost a week and we we're like and, and the dude was like he's like can i ask you i can't do german right yeah I can't, I, uh he goes can i ask you i go what's up he goes he goes what's what's with the eyes <laughs> i go i go what do you mean and he goes why do you like it and i gave him homework the dude this is me. I'm giving the front desk guy you homework. Home. <laughs> I go, I go, here's what's going to happen, bro. <laughs> I go, tomorrow I'm going to come back. And by tomorrow, I expect you to take a big glass, and uh, uh, walk around a little bit, and then fill a glass up with ice and put a bunch of water in that. And you drink that, and you tell me you don't get what's going on. <laughs> okay. So you come back. Does he do I it? I come back. He didn't fucking do it. He what didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? He you thought fired? you like invited some revolutionary shit. You were like, I'm going to blow. Nobody in Europe has even thought to maybe. I know. They just, I think they're more adapted to, they don't have like air conditioning in most I know. Of Europe. They think yeah. that we're lazy. Like we need everything. Like what well, we do. Exact. Yeah. I got a hotel. I looked for a hotel with air conditioning and I wanted big glasses of ice. So here's my point. Europe is classy like that. You know, they don't have ice. They have, they do one cube. You ask for a cold, you ask for uh, ice, coffee. ice coffee. They do one cube. Duncan? Duncan will take us a 32 ounce cup and squeeze. <laughs> yeah. They will they will squeeze ice into it so you can't shut the lid. And it's so gavonish, it's almost honorable. You know what I mean? It's almost honorable. So you like I, all the ice in the Duncan? Nah, I nah. <laughs> but I like I like that that's their standard. I like that their standard is too much ice. Right? It's because ice is cheaper than coffee. And they're just trying to, we're just trying to squeeze every dollar out of every situation that we can. I guess so. But here's what I got. I go, I go, okay. I go, let me go to cold brew lodge. I go, less ice. Here's the perfect amount of ice, bro. When you're drinking it, you have to fuck it. Look at my ice right here. 
Yeah. I, I got to move the straw up to where the ice is, you know? So I'm, I'm always. <laughs> oh, uh, I see. I see. So it's, it's chilling it as you go down. I'm see, chill- I do light ice, but I don't, I get like a combination of temperatures when I drink it. No, I never thought to like move the straw down with the ice. That's Dude, a you got to have fucking good fucking straw. I'm a pro. This is what we're talking. This is you need to be delivering to the people. This is this is people the garbage need this man. Information. This is the garbage man right here, right? So I take I take the straw and I fucking sip it where the ice cubes are, and as I drink, I slowly push the straw down to go where the ice cubes are. And if it's a perfect amount of ice, your last sip is the last little drop of ice. Nothing fucking left. Wow, you have this down to a science. Yeah, and this is what I need to be talking about, right? Because nobody in my life cares about this, so I need to put this energy into something. So People just, will care about it. On the, you will find an audience for this. I will find a – you know what? And I will find an audience that goes, wow, Sebastian's got good views on Dunkin' Donuts, bro. You know? <laughs> like, that's all I want. I just want – I don't want to be funny. Nah, I do. Uh, <laughs> want to be funny. I don't want to be funny. Um, I don't want to be. All I want to do is basically get this bullshit I feel and have someone listen to it. Right? Nice. Yeah. We all have this bullshit that we care too much about. And I don't know. The real stuff is hard to care about, right? The real stuff is hard to talk about. It's hard to care about. I don't want to. It's hard to care about. (laughs) If you have Felix. (laughs) Robbie, I'm just saying, like. (laughs) It's it's hard for me to like, like I care about it in a different way than I care about my Duncan. Yeah, like I care about it in more like fucking. You care fucking, about it. Yeah, I care about it more like a My Chemical Romance to, sort of vibe. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm talking Fallout Boy, <laughs> fucking. Let's get the hair over the eyes kind of feeling. You know? Okay, you're not gonna be funny while while no. necessarily t- tackling no. that kind of stuff. No, no, no one's. And funny, it's hard but- to always articulate what you feel. Exactly. With, with Duncan, you know, you can, can articulate, articulate down to a science. I could articulate Duncan. When I talk about love, I'm like fucking Savage Garden over here, bro. Okay. You, know? <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? That's the sort of vibes we got going on. So like, so, like, this is stuff I need to talk about. And I don't need you to listen. I would hope to people listen. (laughs) I don't need you. (laughs) No, this This is for me. (laughs) Robbie, this is how you get them. This is how you get them. Okay, all right. You're going to play hard to get. I don't need you. Whatever. (laughs) You all listen. Okay, I guess. I don't care. You know, it's no big deal to me. You know, you know, there's plenty of listeners out there in the city. (laughs) There's seven billion people. Somebody yeah. will listen to us. Hey, hey, you don't want to listen? No big deal. I, I thought we could listen to each other for a minute, but like, whatever. I don't care. I thought I could talk and you would listen, but like, whatever. I don't need you to listen. Robbie, this is definitely going to seal the deal. All those people that, that, that were like... That is this like, what you do? And is this how you approach dating? I don't approach dating. Oh, you don't approach dating? <laughs> Does dating approach you? Robbie, did you not just hear what I said? Robbie, did you not? This is the fucking Robbie. I only could do this podcast with, I, I only could let like Robbie do this with me and like do this podcast with Robbie if we're not in the same room because or else I'm going to kick the shit out of him. <laughs> or else I would just kick the shit out of him. All right, you don't want to, but you, you're using a tactic that like a fifth grader would use in dating to try and accumulate podcast listeners. What's your point? I'm just saying. That's why it reminded me. Of, I was wondering if that's also what you do with dating, but you don't even approach. No, no, no. I don't approach. Uh, who knows? Who knows what's happening there? Right? <laughs> okay. Who knows? Uh, Abort that. Uh, okay. <laughs> so right. people will listen. You'll find an audience. I'll we find- don't need you, but if you're down for it, loud about nothing. That's and what you're gonna a, be doing. Here's the deal. I also like to listen to other people talk about their shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I like to know what I'm passionate about with this bullshit. And I also care about what other people care about, right? Yeah. And I care about, like, my friends. I'll, I'll bring people on. We'll talk to them. I care about my friends here and what they have to say, what they can fucking care about. Yeah. Which bullshit that they care about, right? Also, I'll listen to the people. If yeah. you want to If you want to um, hit us up and tell us, like, a story that's happening in your life, something that, like, like you went to the grocery store and yada, yada happened, you know? Uh, like I, 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 like, and you feel like you don't have a place to, you don't to have get place. it off your chase because you're also in quarantine right now. Yes. Right in, like if it's positive, if it's Where funny, do they write? Whatever. Where do they write, Robbie? 
Uh, at Sebastian Canelli no, on Instagram. No, bro. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. At Sebastian Canelli. No, no. DM actually, it. no. Where did they write, bro? Come on. Uh, loudaboutnothing at gmail.com. Send Boom. in some Gmails and we'll, I mean, yeah. Yeah, we're going to figure out. We don't out need you, but we can. We don't need. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> sure be cool if you did. Yeah. I mean, as you know, I, I'll talk. I could talk forever about nothing. You know what I mean? Like, I'll yeah. be all about nothing forever, right? And, um, but we're going to, like, if you want to, like, get some shit off your chest, we're going to figure out how to do some call-ins and shit like that, or it's, like, audio records so we can have you talk. Because I know, um, imagine if you put my words into text, it would sound like, wait, this guy just used four words over it. My words are, like, <laughs> it's like a Beatles chord progression, my words. <laughs> It's just the same fucking three words over and over again, bro. You know what I mean? It's like the first, like, like, like you know when you first learn how to play the guitar, that's the fucking, you go, oh, yeah. I'll just learn, I'll, I'll learn Here Comes the Sun. It's fucking four chords, yeah, yeah. bro. That's, I learned Here Comes the Sun speaking-wise, like, with my vocabulary, and I go, that's good that's enough for lie. me. <laughs> you listened to four Beatles song one summer, and that was, that was English for Sebastian. That was it. That's English for me, bro. I'm a fucking four chord progression uh, uh, auditor. Oh, my God. Oh, that was oh shit, dude! That was me with my fucking minor chord right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's the one minor chord, and it comes out sloppy, and it's like you could tell he's working. Oh, really, it needs to get tuned. Yeah, really hard to fucking get his fingers in the spot. Or or the tour. <laughs> no, so I get, I like get, like how if you're like, oh, I don't know if my words come through through writing. Trust me, bro, I get it. You know, uh. And uh, so, like, but, like, let us know. Tell us so what's going on. You could write at a second grade level or higher. We'll accept your email. Second grade level. Uh, that's beautiful. Second grade level. Th- thank you, Robbie. Let's put a... Le- let's put a... <laughs> let's put... A, let's first grade get- is going to be tough. It's, if it's first a dry grade. week, we'll take first grade. If it's... <laughs> but <laughs> we prefer to be able to write at a second grade level or above. That's all we want. And we're going to be... Although, doing- though, sometimes I don't... Like there's, you learn like past tense in second grade. And I feel like I don't always know the right past tense. Of, you know what I'm talking about? You ever like be talking and you don't know the right, like suck, sucking. I don't Like there's words you forget the past tense. And I'm like, I literally learned this in second sucked. grade. No, I know suck. That was a bad example. There's just sometimes. You don't know Drink, sucked. drunk, drank like that. I wouldn't like, I, I drank, I drank. that. I, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I don't it know. It sounds words. like it sounds like you know them. I don't know. What yeah, you know. all right. I guess you're right. You're crushing. All you never, you've right. never had a, a situation where you're like forget how to use a word in the past tense. No, but I can't say anonymous. Uh, anonymity is hard. Anonym, for me. anim, yeah. Anonymity. Anonymity. Is, that's a hard word for me. Yeah, and I is. think, I think, I think there's just too much happening inside my mouth when I try to say <laughs> <laughs> anonymity. That, that's probably one that some people struggle with. Yeah, well, I struggle with that anonymity. Well, whatever. If you write in, you'll have anonymity. Yeah, you will. Well, you'll be. You will have anonymity. You'll you have anonymity. This is me just showing off right now. Yeah. You'll have- <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, if you write in, you'll have anonymity, and um, we won't. So you could get whatever, and like you could. So you could make it personal. You know, you could talk about like you. Y- your partner did something, your friend did something that like, or that like got you hyped in a good way or got you pissed, right? We're not only talking about shit. Like my example of what I get loud about is something I love, you know? Yeah. Like we don't only have to have passion around shit that we don't like. We could also have passion about shit that we like. So please let us know about that stuff, you know? And, and it, of course, of course we have passion about shit we don't like, you know? Yeah. And so we'll basically we'll be we'll be doing an episode with a guest, and then every week I'm gonna do one where I talk about I listen to viewers and uh, listeners, and they'll tell me what's going on with them. I'll address that, and I'll talk about some shit going on with me, or what's happening out in the news. I do pay attention to news. I'm only fucking around, or, or like what's happening in the world, so shit like I want to talk about. You know, um, can you believe I text check my text messages while I just did that? You didn't have to. You could have let it slide, bro. Bro, what is wrong? You didn't have to tell anyone. You're addicted to the phone, bro. I'm already phone. The the, the social ones, bro. You don't got to take the. What's that? The social dilemma. I I didn't watch it, but you kept sending me the guy who uh, you were like, no wonder he doesn't like uh, social media. He's ugly as shit. No, and I've been not. telling people that people have been like, yo, have you seen the social dilemma? I'm like, no, but my friend's telling me about it. 
They were like, he was the best. People like that dude. I guess a lot of people have been listening this to is, him and liked him. This is good, Robbie. You bring up, you go, you know the person that you called ugly in a <laughs> private text to uh, me? My- <laughs> you know this person that you called ugly in a private text to me? Well, everyone disagrees with you, Smash. <laughs> Also, <laughs> but no, no, but I, have I just said, wait, I just said, out. I just said that he looked like a, he was from the Matrix. That's it. I just said the dude is a social network himself. <laughs> That's all I said. <laughs> all I said, I didn't say nothing bad besides that, like, like the dude is in the Matrix. He looks like he's straight from the Matrix, and like, no wonder why he he doesn't like this fucking social network shit. You know. But, so it didn't move you to like get off social media. You haven't taken any less of a social media interest Dude, since watching it. I have no. trouble I have trouble getting moved by shit like that. One time I went to an animal sanctuary where oh, like no. No, <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. Baby. Look at this. <laughs> One time I went through an animal to an animal sanctuary and I went with I went with, uh, like a while ago with the girl and we go and we're, I'm like this will be nice. We're gonna pet the pet the sheep, you know, we'll look at the chickens. They bring someone they go, oh yeah, this is uh this is Gary the rooster. I go, oh look at Gary. That's cute, you know? And they'll be like, Gary was molested by, by 14 oh, men. No. <laughs> that's like, so it's so fucked. That's and so then, fucked. That's not where I thought this was going. It was so sad. Damn. It was that's so, so fucking gross and creepy. Dudes are mad creepy. It was literally disgusting. And it was like these pigs, they eat, they force feed till they can't stand up, yada yada. Such horrible shit. Yeah. I leave the animal sanctuary. No. And I, and I go get a couple hard-boiled eggs from the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> didn't affect you. It didn't affect. Did me. they try to spin it in like a way that they were like, "You vegan. should probably bleed"? Oh, they did try to sell yeah. you on the vegan. It did, had no. No, no. Like it is sad, and you are sad about it. I was. But it's sad hard for you it. to draw the the connection between that. I no. just. I already. I have so many food issues that we can't. Yeah, be, we. Can't. We can't. We can't be throwing in animal feelings into that. Yeah. You know what? I'm sorry. You have to address other food issues first. There's so many. You know what I mean? Like, like imagine your car couldn't drive. You know, like your car was stopped on the side of the highway. You wouldn't be like, well, I wish my car was was black instead of red. Let me paint it first. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Bro, yeah, yeah. There's other shit going on over here. So I got home all day. But I, I don't know. It's, I guess it depends what I like have to be. I have to allow myself to open up emotionally. Or else I just want to, like, make fun of stuff, you know? Okay. Yeah. I let shit affect me. But it, it is hard to – I don't know. I didn't watch it. I just heard what people said. And I guess the social media stuff, I don't know. Is it, some people have, like, gotten rid of it because of this documentary. No. no I, not, nothing's going to happen, bro. Yeah. Remember when the guy ate McDonald's for, for a month? Yeah. Nothing happened. Travis Super Scott goes, me. Travis Scott goes, fuck you, I'm going to drop a meal. Yeah. <laughs> happens what yeah it's just like about? maybe a tiny bump yeah nothing yeah really what did they do they, they threw apples on the menu <laughs> instant gratification it sucks is always gonna beat out other shit you know what Long i mean term, yeah and social media is instant gratification but you should hit that subscribe uh, like and subscribe yeah, button for on this <laughs> it's gonna be great we got the social media popping he's gonna have clips of him going on rants no it's been cool and I think you learn, because a lot of us all consume the same shit. A lot of people like the same shit. There's yeah. a, our generation. We like a lot of the same shit, especially being in New York. So it's been cool to hear, like, the more unique or, like, niche things that people have a lot of passion for that you don't really get out. It's, like, I guess what makes people's personality. Yeah. That was nice, Robbie. Yeah. It's, that's been cool to hear yeah, about. That has been cool. Not, like. Sure. Game of Thrones. <laughs> or, Game of Thrones, yeah. I don't, yeah. Or whatever. It's the same shit that everybody's consuming and doing and yeah, going to the places. You, It's been cool to learn about a little bit more of the weirder stuff people are passionate about. I purposely want to hear shit that people don't care, or that people think that we don't want to hear about. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that, right? If you, got, if, if you think you go, there's no way Sebastian will want to talk about this. You're wrong, bro. Yeah. You're wrong. You're wrong. All right, well, that's dope. How long we do, Robbie? I, I tell <laughs> Robbie every fucking episode. All right, episode. so the first few episodes that are going to come out this week, I we're working him, through. We're working on. through some problems. We're working. We're so definitely, please 
the, the first four episodes, if you kind of like what you hear, just stick with it because we're See, working through some kinks. On this the is Google Robbie. Land. We're Inst- working through some kinks on <laughs> instantly. I, I tell him, I go, bro, Robbie, can you just throw up? I go, when we start the app, can you, I go, can you just throw up in the corner a little time so then we know what time shit happens in case we got to look at stuff or something. Dude hasn't done it once. Yeah, I did it like the first two times. <laughs> no, you didn't, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. We definitely, we're definitely figuring this shit out. But yeah, it is. So what it bear is. with us. We, we're getting better on the sound quality yeah. of the guests, and we're getting better on the presentation. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be on YouTube. It'll Everywhere be you got this, and wherever you get podcasts. Yeah, podcasts. We got Instagram. So follow us over there. Um, and we're just gonna try to, we're just gonna try to be real, bring heat. You know, that's it. Yeah. So right. yeah, write in, subscribe. All right, well, this was dope, bro. Well, I mean, listen to this shit. Thank you. We're going to drop one episode a week, all week. So this week, we're going to drop an episode all week. We're dropping, uh, we got new episodes. We got five episodes right now. We're dropping them all. And then next week, we're doing two a week. So come in, have fun. Just put it on, do the dishes, you know, put it on, go for a long walk, look at other people, you know, that's good for the soul, shit like that. All right. All right, well, thanks for listening, guys. All right, peace.